Example number one. Solve the inequality 3x squared plus 2x is less than 1. Uh, represent your solution on a number line. So what we want to do first is we want to make sure that we have, we set this thing greater than or uh, less than 0. So we say 3x squared plus 2x, and I want to subtract 1 from both sides. Minus 1 is less than 0. So step 1 will always be make one side 0. The next thing that we want to do is we want to find those critical values. We want to figure out where um, x equals 0. We want to find out where, um, where the x-intercepts would be if this actually had two, um, uh, if, if this parabola would have two uh, variables, namely x and y. So where are the zeros to the solution? Well, let's, uh, let's factor it. Um, 3x squared um, plus 3x uh, minus x minus 1 is less than 0. I'm going to say 3x, and I'm going to say uh, x plus 1. I'm going to pull out a negative from both of those. x plus 1, less than 0. 3x minus 1, 3x plus, oh sorry, that should be x plus 1 is less than 0. So our two critical values are where this actually equals 0. Okay, so when this uh, equals 0, 3x uh, minus 1 equals 0, uh, 3x equals 1, x equals 1 third. This one right here is just simply x equaling negative 1. So our two critical points are here. So what I did right here is I determined the critical points. And I'm just going to go back up here and say factor, just to make that extra clear. So if I were to represent my solution on a number line, I would set this up here. I would say negative 1 and uh, 1 third. Well, notice that this is less than 0, so it means that it does not actually include those critical points as an answer. So I need to have open circles. If there was an equal sign here, then I could uh, fill in the dots, but I don't. So now what I want to do is I want to pick test points to see whether or not the, um, uh, the quadratic is positive or negative at those certain points. So if I were to pick a number between negative uh, 1 and 3, the easiest one for me would be to pick 0. So I pick 0, so choose test points. between these options. So choose uh, 0 as a test point. If I uh, substitute 0, 3 times 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 1, uh, that just equals negative 1. That's negative. So I'm going to write negative here. I'm going to choose a test point on this, on this section right here. The easiest one for me would be 1. So 3 times 1 squared plus 2 times 1 minus 1. 3 plus 2 is 5, minus 1 is 4. So we know that it's positive. So right here is positive. The test point on this side, the easiest one for me would be negative 2. Even though that's getting a little bit more complicated. 3 times negative 2 squared um, plus 3 times negative 2 minus 1 equals, uh, this is going to be, I'm going to take an extra step with this, so it's going to be 12 minus 6 minus 1, that's just 5. It's positive, so this is positive. The question asks, oh and just to, just to be really explicit about this, I'm, I'm testing the points using this right here, one, uh, this equation right here, once we've made that one side equal to 0. So what I need to do now is I need to say, okay, so this right here is actually my solution because it's asking where it's less than zero. 
so where it's negative, so it's right here. If I wanted to express that in set notation, I would say x is in between negative 1 and 1 third. x is an element of the reals. I just want to connect this with, uh, with the broader stuff that we've been doing before. I want us to connect with the, um, with the graph. So if I were to make a real quick sketch of this, I would say, okay, so my zeros are at negative one and positive one third. And I know that since the A is positive, it's going to be opening up. So it's really easy to see, guys, where is this thing negative? Where are the Y values negative? Right here. Okay. So, um, oh, sorry, uh, I just want to point out a mistake. I said less than or equal to. It should just be less than. Why? We need to follow suit with what's uh, happening up here. Since they're open, it means that they don't include that as a solution. Okay, so it's asking where it's negative. This is why. See the connection between these two things? This is expressing the domain of what's happening here. This is the answer that I'm expecting. This is just kind of a helpful visual for you to connect everything together. Now I'm going to do one more example and then uh, you'll be off to the races and ready to do a whole bunch more examples on your own and with your classmates.